This video is about the backup process. Once you do open up the backup screen, you'll see a range of pickers coming down the page. The first thing to do is to choose the camera. I've chosen camera one, and we'll start from here. Then the type of material that you'll be backing up, in this case, we've got normal recording, so the normal box is, is ticked. And then the most important part, the file time, the from and to. As we were watching in the playback screen, the, the, the time of start is very easy to ascertain by moving the mouse to the position where you want the video to start and want the video to finish. So specifically, we will, you would set it from 10 minutes and 36 10, 10 hour, uh, the hour of 10 o'clock and 36 minutes to say 10 hours and 38 minutes. Two minutes of video. You don't need to back up days and days of it. You just want the particular minutes of video that are pertinent. It will ask you if you want a video file or a picture file. So we're choosing video file. Here we can back up picture files by choosing picture if we do want it. The file format type for video is always AVI as it's shown here and then we can go straight away to click files query size and with the USB stick that I've already got in the drive it's saying that this small file size uh, will be created for, for the video between those two times which is satisfactory for the USB stick that I have in there. If you don't have enough file space on the USB stick it will tell you at this point and you will get a new video st USB stick or delete some material from it. The storage location is the root directory of the USB stick which is S SB SDB1 and here it lastly it'll tell you the total USB stick space and the free space so you know you're okay. The bottom right hand corner you straight down there and click the start backup and it will immediately back up the file and, and start to show you a progress bar of the backing up in this location once it's achieved 100% you can take the USB stick out and pass it on to the authorities or view it on a computer. The other type of backup, as I said, is a picture file. And I'll do that. I'm going to click on the file type being picture in this location. And then once I query the file size, you'll see it change to a smaller file size which is indicating that pictures have been recorded and they'll be backed up obviously um, a much smaller amount of material. I can go straight to the smart backup, click the smart backup down here and it'll start to back up immediately pictures onto that USB stick which do not take long at all to back up. Once that's got to 100% you can take the USB stick out and you'll have the pictures on there as well. 